to Paloo. <coughs> so many cakes. Hey, Aaron. I think you should make a galaxy rainbow surprise cake. What? Sounds yummy. I guess we're making the trendiest cake in the world. So a lot of people ask where I get my ingredients. Unless it's really specific, I get everything here from Landers. They have like a crazy choice. But yeah, if you guys want a one-stop shop, this is the place to be. And it's thanks to them that I get to do all these cool videos. So this is exactly why I don't bake much. It's because there's so much preparation that comes into it. I'm about to make the rainbow cake. And this is not my recipe, obviously. It's from a YouTube channel called Cupcake Gemma. Let's get to it. At least the good part of not officially filming this right now is that I can be as messy as possible. And when I bake, it's extremely messy. Now that the milk and vanilla mixture is separated one and one half tablespoon <laughs> per bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little nugget of color uh, gel, it's super intense, as you can tell with my hands. I have to get about 750 grams of sugar and of butter. So now the idea is to take this 2.5 kilo delicious dough and divide it into six, and then cook those six different cakes. Okay, so I've evened out the batter. I've evened out. I've separated out the batter evenly. Um, I've then put it in tins that have been lined with butter and flour, which I'm gonna put now into the oven for about 20 minutes until all this is set, and then these cakes should be ready for tomorrow. All our sponge cakes are done, um, so tomorrow I'm gonna continue this recipe by doing the glaze. The cakes turned out pretty well, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I finally have help. Carmelo, my dear friend here, Carmelo did mention that my cakes turned out okay. It did. did. They, well, I just realized there's a I hole. <laughs> why did this happen? I actually don't understand why this happened. But that's okay because I, I was reading that I just have to cut that off anyways, right? Yeah, basically it was probably not cooked. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so I just have to cut this off, level it, and then I have to remove yeah, the brown and yeah. stuff. So we'll do all that. Um, so Carmel is an actual professional baker, which is why I needed her here because I feel like that part one for me was hell enough, so I'm guessing part two to five would be absolute hellish if I was alone. We're doing the trendiest cake in the world, um, and we're doing multiple trendy cakes all together, right? Yep. So I need to get on the next steps, and you're not allowed to help me, but you will be able to guide me. Okay, and so I can't physically help you, you but I can give you tips. You can be my spiritual leader. Okay, okay. Baking journey of mine. Feel free to comment, feel free to talk shit. It's up to you, your place is there. Uh, we still need to work on, so the buttercream, which butter will cream. stick all the cakes together. The glaze, the glaçage, glaçage? Glaze, yeah, glaze, the glaçage. glaçage, miroir. Which, miroir, which will go on top. Um, and then we will be stuffing the cakes with your glam pop. This is like the funniest thing ever. These are all edible, right? Yep, and these are chocolate balls, so it's even sweeter. So this will go in the middle, and the idea is when you cut it... It comes out like a piñata. So it's like, it's like unicorn diarrhea. It kind of just flows <laughs> out, right? Pretty much. If you, if you would cut into a unicorn, this no. is what will come out. Okay, so what are we doing first, Carms? You're, you have to do your buttercream. Okay, so 400 grams of butter. I'm actually really nervous for you. So you want to cut it down before you put it inside. Um, 900 grams of powdered sugar? Yep. Slowly or um, no, mix little it, by little mi or everything? Mix your butter ready so it's a bit soft. Mix this with butter? Mix your, no, just the butter. Oh my god. Or mix it with the dough hook or mix it with this. No, you have to turn on your machine already. Why are you using You have a machine that does everything. They say baking is specific. Can you be specific? <laughs> So once the butter is already soft, 
Then you you add more your sugar. sugar. This is my first time and last time making this cake. Actually, this is the first thing I thought of. I was like, Erwin doesn't have patience for baking. Like, how is he going to do all of this? See? Just to show. It's a little clumpy. Can I add like milk already or no? Is it well mixed? Oh, I can't mm. see. It's like crumbly. Okay. Five tablespoons. If, 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 if anyone's wondering what I'm looking at, I'm not cheat embarrassed cheat. to say it. I have a cheat sheet here. Vanilla. One half teaspoon. I like the one where you can actually tilt the head up. So I feel like this is so hard to... Okay, I gave you a spatula. Ah, you did. I think it's okay now. So it acts the same way as the other one. Usually so like I turn it to make sure that it, all the sides are kind of cut and shaped the same height. And then I cut in the middle. Ah, you're right. It's slightly undercooked. <laughs> It's okay, we're gonna cut it for the surprise cake. Uh huh, I did it on purpose. I knew we were gonna cut the <laughs> hole anyways. Uh, what happens now? Uh, cut a hole. So many steps in baking. <laughs> All right, so now I've got my base and I've got my top. Don't put it in the middle because you're gonna put your sprinkles so, it doesn't, so that it doesn't stick. Got it. So try not to put it in the middle. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna fill everything. It's layered. We're gonna fill it with Glam Pop. These are actually from Carmela, so if you want to get some, I'll put her contact details in the bottom. So now we close it. Yep. So we're gonna do the glaçage. We're gonna start with by blooming, I didn't know that was a term, blooming the gelatin. Um, I need five teaspoons of gelatin, one half cup of cold water, and one fourth cup of water. So the one half cup of water goes in here. One fourth. One fourth cup. So not cold water. What? Or it doesn't really matter. Room temp, yeah, room temp. So I just have to mix it? Mix a little bit, then you just have to let it get jellyfied. The water goes in. Low fire, right? More sugar. And then to that we're adding... Your corn syrup. Corn syrup, so a half cup of corn syrup. Kids, this sh is terrible for you. Just letting you know. Mix it once. Mix it a little bit. And let it melt. All right, so one half cup of condensed milk, just because we don't have enough sugar. White chocolate. Yeah, is your gelatin well mixed? Like, there are no lumps anymore in there? Yes. Okay, our glaçage is ready. Now all we have to do is put some color in it to actually get that kind of galaxy vibe. And you want to do like a nice bean size. Let magic happen. Dun, da 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 da! Why is everyone holding their breath? I don't know, like I'm scared it's gonna fall or it's gonna break and then now how oh, do you do Oh my god, that is so cool. I am so proud of myself right now. This actually worked. The most expensive dust in the I'm world. I'm really surprised you bought that one. Dun, dun, dun. Three. No, I'm stuck. No, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Okay, so you have two time. cakes. This is yours. Yes. You made this when? Yesterday. Okay. Big difference in mine is mine's melting a little bit. I think we could have left it a little bit in the freezer. Just, it's just the gelatin flowing, but it still looks great. So. Yeah, I don't know, you, you could have, we should have just let it like set. Set, uh, yeah. drip a little bit more. Drip a little bit more before you put it in there. Okay, so we're gonna cut it. So the sprinkles are here, right? Yes. Should I do it? Yeah, oh, of course I have go to for do it. it. Oh, I can feel the sprinkles. Yeah, so you don't cut really the sprinkles. Oh, shit! Unicorn vomit! <laughs> that looks 
<laughs> so dope. Looks so really cute. nice. Ooh, yours is like super filled. Not bad. Yours is slightly more even than mine. Hashtag trendy. So, time to taste it. Are we tasting yours first? Let's taste, yeah, let's taste mine. Mm. Oh my god, it's so yep. sweet. Yeah. It's good, but it's super sweet. Next, do yours. And it's less sweet. Yeah. Nice. I actually like yours better. Good. All in all, I think success. What I you did really well. Yeah. Would I recommend people do it at home? Hell no. Why not? But I think we've made. I think to make the extra trendiest cake in the universe, we would have needed some sparklers or something, just a, a little bit of fanfare. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed that baking video, and you want me to bake more, who cares? <laughs> I'm not gonna bake more. No, I'm kidding. I bought I bought a machine, so now I do need to make more cakes. So thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Carmela's details will be in the bottom if you want professionally made cakes because no one yes. wants to buy this. No one would buy this. <laughs>